Hmm. Some rift stuff. Sheesh. 24th. I don't think I'm gonna complete the entire rift in only four days. But who cares? And all my rituals that I haven't completed yet. I haven't played a uh, killer in a while, so it's gonna be something collecting all these again. But anyway. Hello everyone, I'm so terrific, and welcome back to another video. Now, first of all, I want to say, sorry if you hear any background noise, but it's late at night, and I decided to just knock this video out just because I have the time to at the moment, because during the midday, I don't really have enough time, since I have some people over here still working in the kitchen, so I don't want to hear a bunch of background noise, and you hear the door upstairs going in and out, you know, closing and opening, whatever. So, yeah. Also, I have laundry going on in, like, the room, like, right in front of me, so if you hear anything background noise, I apologize for that. Anyway, let's talk about this. So, I know that I've mentioned that, like I was kind of getting bored of Dead by Daylight, and yeah, it's kind of is. I don't like the way the game's going. I don't like the changes they're making, and it, it's not really bringing me any. You know, it's not giving me any reason to come and play the game on my own interest. I mean, game's almost five years old now. I've been playing for like almost four, so I'm bound to get bored at some point. But yeah, that's what's been happening. I haven't touched this game in like what almost two months it's like i know we're getting bored when like not even a new chapter even got me into the game but a friend gets to me the uh new chapter which at the time i'm recording this is uh what's today yeah the time i'm recording this is like april 20th and he gifted me the game not the game they gave me the add-on yesterday so i'm just gonna go in the game play survivor play killer the new ones at the moment because this dropped like last month and probably by the time it's coming out the new Resident Evil chapters probably already dropped. Who knows, I might make a video on that. I probably will, because I like Resident Evil. Also, if you're wondering why I'm planning to drop this so like so late after like the new chapters drop, um, you should probably just go back and watch my explanation on the 4.5.0 PTB video I did. I did an explanation at the beginning of the video as to why some videos might come out like super later than they're intended to. But that was a lot to talk about at the beginning, so let's just get into the gameplay. I think what I'm gonna do is play Killer first, since he is the, you know, the hype. This whole K-pop killer, and it's funny because I made a video talking about the new Dead by Daylight Killer Nutshell. Like I haven't played it, but I watched videos and got the gist of it. And it's gonna be my first time playing the Trickster. I should probably uh, spend some blood points on him, get some perks, whatever. Try to get first a depth achievement because it's the twentieth rank reset happened like a week ago. Should probably take advantage of that. So I'm gonna level up real quick and see how this goes. Okay, I didn't spend all the blood points, but I just spent enough to unlock all his perks slots because I want to try to go for his adept achievement. I'm gonna send the rest of these blood points on the survivor. So we have No Way Out. After hooking a survivor for the first time, No Way Out gains a token. When the last generator is repaired, the entity blocks both exit gates, which is for 10 seconds, plus an additional 6 seconds for each token in your possession. Alright, so a little end game perk. Uh, Hex Crowd Control. The entity blocks a window for 12 seconds after a survivor performs a rush vault through it. Okay, uh, it's a hex perk too, so... Uh, I mean, it's like the, the blight perk with the pallet. Uh, instead for a pallet, it's windows. And last we have Starstruck. I heard a lot about this. While carrying a survivor, any other survivors within your terror radius suffer from the exposed status effect. The effect persists for 28 seconds on the survivor who leaves your terror radius, as well as those within the radius when you hook or release the carry survivor. Starstruck has a cooldown 60 seconds, but, you know, this is all tier 2, so we don't know how it's gonna appear at tier 3. We're just gonna be running his three main perks, um, and yeah. I'll probably have to look at his power while I'm waiting for a game, because even though I see videos on it, I don't really pay attention to what's like his perks and powers. All I know is he throws a bunch of knives, and he, if he throws the right amount, you, you go down. So yeah, let's go for the hunting category. What do you, what do you got for add-ons? I'm just throwing what uh, seems good. Okay, I'm just gonna throw on this one, and then I'm gonna go on this ricochet one, because I feel like I'm gonna be missing a lot. I'm not good with projectiles in like any game. Well, except Minecraft. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna go in. And I, I'm gonna look at his power while I try to find a game probably start looking for a match now and this is gonna be all my first impressions of this killer and survivor so we're gonna see how this goes i didn't even compliment the background that behavior did it looks great i like the colors i like the look of the new character models like it seems like this like more visually pleasing and yeah good job to them i at least want to try to get adept trickster and if i can't oh well i'll try to get it off camera i don't think i'm gonna be playing him a lot i'm probably gonna like play him for first impressions try to get his achievements and then never touch him again because or he could be fun i don't know but we're going to have to see until we get into the game, so until then. <laughs> what a great first map to get. It's going to be something, but funny thing is, I didn't even get to look at the killer's power. What the heck was that little camera thing? I don't know. Funny thing is, I didn't get to look at the killer's power because, uh, oh 
okay you're already making noise i didn't get to look at the killer's powder because the washer went off so i took the clothes out put in the dryer took the clothes out in the dryer you know just place them around you know i was dealing with clothes stuff so we're gonna have to just see how everything goes this game oh okay I thought it was going to be like Huntress where you just hold it and then you let go to throw the blades. Like spam the lift trigger button, but it seems that you hold it up and then you press red trigger to throw them, okay? And I obviously lost the survivors I just had a hold of. Hoping we get a little bit of an inexperienced survivor to make this easier on me, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, I heard someone fall. Hello. Oh, let's throw him, let's throw him. I don't like this. I have like no aim too. I'm just like spamming this. Uh, this man laughing in my ear. Oh, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. One more. Where's where'd you go? <laughs> there we go. We got a ricochet off. Wait, one more. One more. Aim. Aim, you Asian killer. Get her. <laughs> oh, I tried to ricochet, but she ran away. She's like one tap. To hit her again, but ran out. Okay. I'm obviously terrible. I haven't played this game in like almost two months, so expect me to do bad, but I remember to the lock as the reload. Seems that good add-ons aren't gonna save me from this game. It's like in the videos I've seen, it seems like he's been throwing it faster. I don't know if it's an add-on or something, but still. It just seems super slow the way I'm throwing it. I'm gonna chase her. I'm gonna see if I can like find someone off a of gen. Find someone easier to chase. Cause it looks seems like this gen is almost done. Hello, Claudette. She just jumped down. Wait, somebody is over here. It's her again. Go away. I'm not chasing you. And she's over here staring at me. This is, game is not going how I wanted it to. Whoa, what was that? Got a huge little frame thing. Okay, go up. Do I like slow down when I hold up my blades? Okay, you're you're dumb for running up here. Damn, they already got the... Okay. Sheesh. Some gens were flying. Well, all I gotta do is... Come on, throw it. Kick out it. There we go. That's one. Okay. I know there's like some like little special thing you can do to like throw them like super fast, but I don't know how to activate it. Whoa. Is this it? Did I do it? Okay, I don't know if I did or not, but... Oh, you lucky. She won't vault. There we go. That's predictable. Let's go and reload real quick. I already started the end game, so that might be a great mistake on their part, but I'm not complaining. This game already went terrible. I should probably I would play another game to make up for this one, see how it would go better, but I probably have to do that in like a different video. Because I did say that I was playing one game as killer, one game as survivor, but I spent so much time on the Cheryl that yeah. This happened. Let me go break that pallet. I'm gonna go right back to her. I might have to cam try to get a kill. <laughs> Maybe when somebody comes for the hook, I'll just throw a bunch of knives at them. Just try to get one of them down. Like this entire game, I've only seen the Cheryl and this. Okay. Hello, Cheryl. How nice of you to drop in. Yeah, you go that way. I like the ricochet though. Hello, Nia. There she is. Get the Cheryl. Okay, she's injured. Ooh, let's go. And we got a locket right in front of us too. So don't mind if I do. Let's reload real quick. There we go. Where do you think you're going? I didn't even get to try to uh, get use out of the end game perk I had because I didn't even hook anyone until all the gens were finished. So that's sad. But I don't think it would have made a difference, but it doesn't matter. I will get a kill. And I see you over there, guys. Let's see if you hit through there. She seems like I can't. Is there a locker over here? Real quick, I can reload. No locker. But they seem to be booking it over there. I see them. Don't matter. I'm going for the tunnel. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I will kill you. Yeah! Okay, no borrow time. What are you guys gonna do now, huh? She probably is decisive too. I'm just gonna leave her on the ground. I remember there's supposed to be a decisive change coming soon too. 
I don't know if it's already here or not. I should probably check when I play Survivor. But we're just gonna camp on the ground and let the end game do its thing, cause I've had enough. I did say I was getting a kill. This is the last thing I do, and it's unlucky to die like this. So this is what you get for taking up all my time during the game. Beautiful. And that's how the killer game went. Yeah, look at his running animation. I do not like that. It looks weird. And I seen the, the little end game screen looks different. The lighting is different. But yeah, we did terrible that game. But what can you expect for someone who hasn't played in like almost two months? And look at these guys' ranks. All this and they're that rank? Yeah. Maybe they haven't played this game in a while too. But anyway, now that we're done with the killer game, on to the survivor game. Okay, now. Let's see about this survivor and her perks. What's her name again? And we have Yun Jin Lee. What are your perks? These are all level one, so these are not her full potential, but let's read it. Fast track. Sometimes the sacrifice of others is necessary to get ahead. Whenever another survivor is hooked, you gain one token. You consume all tokens after a great skill check on a generator. Each token consumed guarantees a 1% bonus progression for each great skill checks when repairing generators. Okay. We have smash hit. Oh wait, I know about this one. After stunning the killer with a pallet, break into a sprint at 150%, normal running speed for 4 seconds, alright? And self-preservation. Whenever another survivor within 60 meters of you gets hit by basic attack or special attack, self-preservation activates. Your scratch marks, pools of blood, and grunts of pain are hidden for 6 seconds. So we're benefiting off the pain of others, nice. So let me level up real quick. Okay, so I got decisive already appearing in the blood web, and I'm only like almost level 4, so let's, let's read. It's, Actually, this is tier 1. We can just go to one of our survivors and see what the tier 3 looks like. After being unhooked or unhooking yourself, Decisive Strike activates for 60 seconds. While active, complete a skill check when grabbed by the killer to escape, stunning them for 5 seconds. Succeeding or failing the skill check disables Decisive Strike. You become the obsession after stunning the killer. While active, the following interactions deactivate Decisive Strike. Repairing a generator, healing others or yourself, cleansing a totem, sabotaging a hook, unhooking others. You just do any actions, it just completely gets rid of it. We're gonna have to see how that change happens in one of the games I play, but I don't really plan on using Decisive Strike this game because I'm trying to go for a death achievement. So we're gonna see how that goes. And there we go, 15. We got all the perks locks unlocked. So actually, hold on, is that one of our new perks? Because if so, let's get it up to tier 2 real quick. There we go. And, I mean, why not? Let's just spend the rest of the web. Just because... Because I feel weird just leaving it like this. And let's get this flashlight. And let's put on our perks and let's head into a game. The preservation, smash hits, and fast track. I gotta remember what these perks do. Hopefully, I do better this game than my killer game. Okay, we're on Torment Creek. I know this map is getting changed soon. Probably like in a few weeks, but by the time this video comes out, it's probably already here. Well, I shouldn't say probably, it is here. But after like, what, almost 10 minutes of searching for a lobby? Oh, it's a spirit too, nice. So after like 10 minutes of searching in for a lobby, I finally got into a game. And let's hope this one doesn't go as bad or super quickly. We already got a spirit, so let's just run away from her and try to get some stuff done. Okay, from that hook I just got two tokens, but I already forgot what my perk did. And, uh, she is ruined. Nice. But luckily this fang has kindred. I mean, I was gonna go for the save anyway, but... This makes things a whole lot easier to see what's going on. So, let's get her. Is she gonna let us heal her? No? Well, you have your medikit, so I wouldn't expect you to. But we're just gonna run back to the agenda that I was working on. Let's get this done. Okay, or I guess I'll heal you even though you have a medkit. My bad. <laughs> I'm trying to go for them greats. Uh, I'm sorry, Fang. Probably not gonna wanna let me heal you after this if I find you again, but you know what? We just messed up and made a noise. Oh, well. I was gonna say she's not gonna head her way over here, but it doesn't matter. Does she has that one perk, uh, Starstruck? I mean, was she injured before? Oh, it's a hex. Okay. Yeah. Um, does she has. Okay, so no throw the. Well, throw the hunt, that's what it's called. Sheesh, I'm forgetting perks too. She's probably gonna phase over here. 
We're gonna commit, we're gonna commit, we're gonna commit. Get it, get it, get it. Let's hope she doesn't have uh, haunted grounds. Oh my god. <laughs> well, GG's. Let's run away. And I guess she didn't uh, come after me. But that Meg wasn't so lucky she got found again. It's like, I'm getting all these tokens, but I already forgot what the perk did. Oh, I got eight of them now. And she's heading back over here, so. What I should do is probably use my medkit to start healing people, because something tells me I've got to start healing people more than myself. Okay, well, I lost her somehow. Well, she lost me, I should say. And everybody's going down like flies. Bro, what is going on? Like, I know a rank reset was like a week ago, but sheesh. It's like, what, where, what, what, where are you survivors when I'm playing killer? It's like, even the low rank survivors when I play killer, they, are, they obviously know what to do, like the basics. What are you guys doing? You guys are just dropping like flies. And she killed herself. Nice. And that Meg's over there healing herself. I hope she has a medikit and not self-caring. Because she's... I mean... At this point, I really don't care. It's like, bro... bro. <laughs> this game is already going down the gutter. And I wouldn't be surprised if this spirit had barbecue and chili. Everybody got hooked twice, except me. And that's about to change real quick. Okay. I know she's on my trail. Oh, or never mind. I guess she found Meg. But I said let's hook bomb, but I somehow got away again. Okay, let's just let me just heal you with my med kit. Oh, never mind. She's come back over here. Um, is she gonna chase me? No? There you are. I'm over here. Chase me. Get some type of interaction this game. And it's been a while since I ran a loop like this. Okay, let's go away. Let's, there's a pallet over here, so let's use this and then head to the shack. Let's loop around this a few times if we get the chance. Oh, okay. She's going around the rosy on me. I'm just going to throw that down. I probably could have gone around one more time, but... Eh. Another pal over here? No. Um, she ditched the chase. She's not phasing. Unless she has that one add-on that makes her, like, silent when she's phasing in my tier radius. Yeah, she just ditched the chase to go after the... The fang. I guess she has nurses calling and saw her healing? I have 12 tokens! Bro! And now she's dead. 14! And here she comes. Oh, I freaking remembered! It's for the generators! Bro! I didn't even try to get a great skill check on purpose there. And I want to I wanna see how much progress that gen just got just because of that. Okay, I did not expect to get that hit there. I expected her to hit me through the pallet, but that's nice. And because our new perk, we go away. I can't wait to level these guys up and get the perks on my other survivors that I mainly use. And just like that, we just a chase. And Meg's gone. I think she's slugging. Yeah, she's definitely slugging. Okay, gotta be careful here. Let's see if we can, like, sneak away. Never mind. Okay. Well, GG's. <laughs> I tried to go for, like, 360 there, but I failed horribly. Was she gonna phase now? Yeah, she's definitely phasing. I wish I had Iron Will. Yup, it's GG's. The one time I go down is the time that everybody's dead. What a match. It's like two main factors that can just come out, just come from these matches. So number one, I haven't played this game almost two months, and two, the killer game like it's been a while since I played killer, and plus it's a killer I didn't know how to play, so obviously, oh, I, she went in for me to struggle. My bad. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, she missed. <laughs> uh, man, it's only just a pallet here. Ooh. Okay, that swung just like like strafing like side to side like that just messed her up. Let's run by the street here. Let's go in a little looty loot. Woo! <laughs> pallet, pallet, pallet. No, dang it. Okay, there's tires though. Okay, let's go. dang it. I was gonna try to loop that one more time. Try to go over there. Let's see, there's a pallet. I mean, that was fun while it lasted. But yeah. So as I was saying, other reason is I'm playing a killer I don't know how to play. And plus, now for the survivor games, I just have bad teammates. The only chases I got were the chases where the game is already ending, so that sucks. But I have to play with these guys more, level them up, and try try some stuff to decide how I think about the perks and stuff. Maybe I've got a few more Dead by Daylight videos coming soon. Maybe this will bring me back to uploading some more videos on them. But yeah. 
We all know the outcome of how this is gonna go. Just like that. Well, GG's. And that's it for today. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was something. I did a lot of talk in the beginning and we had like some terrible games, but hopefully the next Dead by Daylight video, if I, well, I will bring you another Dead by Daylight video, but I don't know when, or maybe soon, maybe not. We'll see. But yeah, next one, hopefully we have some better matches, some more exciting ones too. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.